Sipping chocolate, sipping, sipping chocolate, sipping chocolate, sipping, sipping chocolate. It's giving Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss chocolate. I want to show off my exotic moves with some sassy music. Hi, welcome back. We are doing mail time. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail. So I, I'm going to split it up in two segments, Boys Love Edition and Boys Planet Edition. Oh. Yeah, so this is the Boys Love Edition. Well, okay, our first question from only one K-pop fan. What's the name of your wonderful black dog? Friedrich is a schnauzer poodle. He is six years old, so he should start acting like it. He's 42, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he could get a job, maybe. My God. His full name is Friedrich Von Trapp. Name that musical. We have a question from at Wooziness. How do you guys know each other? Relationship status? Side eye. Uh, bombastic, bombastic side, side eye. eye. Oh. oh. We were roommates in college. We were next to our roommates freshman year. Then we became then roommates. Then we became roommates sophomore year. And then we became. And then we became roommates. roommates and they were roommates. Year. And then the rest is history. We got married in 2019 right before the. Worldwide, worldwide novel pandemic. coronavirus yes. pandemic. So we got real lucky. We had a beautiful ceremony. If you want the wedding video, just let us know. We'll, we, drop, we'll it. drop the link. I have a question from an eager listener named RJ's Food Rocks. Not this. Are y'all going to watch Fantasy Boys? Here's, okay, we're setting it straight now. Straight. Nope. Straight. If there is a reliable subbed version that we can watch, then we might do it. We'll find out. We'll find out this week because I think it starts next week. It does. It starts the day after my birthday. So we'll see. At Cubist, what non-Korean competition shows have you watched besides Drag Race? Obviously. Okay. Do you want to start since you have a shorter list probably? I do have a shorter (laughs) list. I only watched one season of American Idol season six, Jordan Sparks. Jordan Sparks. I watched mm, a few seasons of The Apprentice. I mean, we should have known, but we didn't know. Yeah. And I was a minor, so you can't be mad at me. I famously watched America's Next Top Model. Not all seasons, but Mm -hmm. like, what's the one that I really liked? Carrie. Carrie D. Carrie D and... uh, Carrie D and Melrose. And Melrose. And I watched some Project Runway. I think those are the only ones I've watched. So I just want to say that like, this feels like a... Life, dream come true. A dream come true. I will be really honest. Because when I was growing up, I was so obsessed with Survivor that I would literally write down all of the contestants' names on like notebooks and like keep track of like how many immunity. This was before Wikipedia. So I was like, how many immunities have they won? How many, what tribes they're in? I was so obsessed. I was keeping track of all of them. I did that for the Amazing Race teams. I did that for American Idol. I've never watched the Amazing Race in my life. Adam, we would be so good at Amazing we, Race. I think we would be very bad at Amazing <laughs> I think Race. we would be so good. I've never seen it, and I know we would be I very think bad. You're a great driver, and I'm great with directions. You're not, actually. I'm great at both of those things, and you're great at neither of them. At sleeping in the car. We could be the next like Tyler Oakley on Amazing Race. <laughs> you need to call. Look at what you people have done. I, I tangentially watched uh, Next next. Uh, Food Network star. Oh, Antonio. Okay, my f- high school friends aren't gonna watch this, but we used to watch it all the time too. I was there when Guy Fieri was chosen. I watched that season. Now we pretty much just watch Drag Race. I know there's was a new season of Survivor that you just are started. way too excited about this one question. I know there's a new season of Survivor that just started, but I haven't gone back into it. I stopped like after Heroes versus Villains, basically. Okay. This is a question from Secret Not For You. Two things I wait most every week are number one, new episodes of Boys Planet, and number two, your recap. Uh, I'm happy to see the support for Haruto, but I've been agreeing with most of your opinions from the beginning. Thanks. So are you planning to make more K-pop related content once Boys Planet ends? This isn't. This is not a question for me. This is a question for our editor in chief. <laughs> I'm going to say like a 50-50 right now because I do like the idea of a survival show, us talking about a survival show because we can tangentially talk about K-pop without not... Without getting into fan wars. Getting into fan wars because I'm a K-poppy, so I will I like everyone. And if you don't like that, I don't know what to tell you. But I do love K-pop. So 
if we find a creative way to like talk about something, I think we'll be able to find it. We'll just let it come naturally. But we're not going away, girlies. Okay. <laughs> Adam, this was a question for you. Sugar's oh. plushy. I listen to a lot of improv podcasts from people who are in Chicago, like Hey Riddle Riddle, and I gotta say, y'all seem like the improv types, LOL. Have y'all ever performed? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no not, le- not, not in a real way past, like, college. Yeah. Not in, like, a real, I have paid money to have someone tell me how to be funny, and then I perform by paying money. I would say Adam's comedy is, like trained through the theater of like doing comedy bits and playing the comedy roles and being bullied <laughs> i think that's a lot of it as well <laughs> rj who are your k-pop ults and what is your favorite music genre within k-pop because famously k-pop is not just its own it's Absolutely. a it's an umbrella genre yeah but there's sub genres on inside for girls i love from is nine i love cosmic girls would you soon you would you like I'm going back into the archives of Girls' Generation. Um, so Make you feel the heat. Yes. For boys, I mean, I started with Bangtan. I get swept away by personalities and visuals. So I feel like right now I'm mostly passionate about the boys. You had a gravity few months. I, I have a gravity phase a little bit, yes. And you had an astro phase for a while. And I have an astro phase. So, and an NCT dream. Your ults. My Alt bias is Kim Tae Young. I am out of my mind like many V biases. There he is. However, I would say my alt group. I I like a lot of groups. I like Stray. I like and Hype and I like TXT. I like Bangtan. I really stick to boy groups. I like the choreo a lot more in boy boy songs than girl songs. Girl songs have better title tracks typically. Mm, yeah. Uh, my alt group is based on pure discography is TXT. I think I'm comfortable enough that I can say that wow. now. I also feel so pretentious saying Bangtan. The Bangtan boys. The Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Favorite concept of songs. Bright. Bright. Bright concept. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, <laughs> I am that person that everyone hates. I that It's cat and dog, girl. It feeds <laughs> my soul when boys wear bright. berets and bright colors. Yep. Yeah. Even with like girl songs, I prefer bright. I mean, I, I with girl so- with girl groups, it has to be like bubblegum. Like I want sugar. Dolphin, Hubba, Dolphin Bubba. by Oh My Girl. Dolphin by Oh My Girl. That's what I want. Give me that. As a BL fan, what are your favorite BLs? <laughs> We've watched maybe like 12. And this is since December. Since December. So that's, that's a lot. So it's a lot in a short amount of time, but yeah. it's not as many, obviously, as yeah. some people. But I don't, um, yeah. And I, I've, we've only watched fully one tie. So take that with a grain of salt. We know there's a full There's library. a whole world we have. of like sex <laughs> that I have not viewed. I have like a I have like a feel good favorite and mm-hmm. I have like a this is like actual art. Mm-hmm. Um, this is probably not going to surprise anybody, but Roommates of Pung Duck 304 is like my feel good. Like I would rewatch it. It's so fun. It's like crowd pleasing vibes. The one that's actually perfect from like a pure storyline, like actually character development perspective mm. is To My Star 2, mm. the second season specifically. Um, it's an actual film. It is uh, an, it's an independent, it's an A24 release. <laughs> it's the it A24. Is, it's so good. And I follow a few people on Twitter who frequently post edits of it. And literally any time I see any part of To My Star 2, I start crying at work. So. <laughs> so we're doing okay. So we're doing great. I will also pick Roommates of Pung Duck. That, that was, I think out of all of the ones that I've seen, that's the one that I've been most impressed by in terms of like funny, but then also just like really natural acting. Great chemistry. It's great chemistry. Mm-hmm. It's like one of the best. Well, I you know, say. they're married, so. Well, yeah, that's not fair because you have a married couple <laughs> playing the romantic couple. Um, I would put semantic error up there obvi- as well. Let's give a full proper production quality to a BL. I'm going to put the new employee up there. I don't know what it is about these two men. I mean, it, it's very obvious what it is about these two men. They're beautiful. They are just something ignites in me when I watch them together. Like, they're <laughs> just so beautiful. I can't. 
I can't handle it. So. I loved Bad Buddy. Charisma. I, Charisma. Um, and Natural I, charm. I also loved Blooming, and I loved um, Cherry Blossoms. Cherry Blossoms After Winter. Yeah. It's del- it's delusional. It, that storyline is so crazy because they like grow up together. So it is a little like, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? But I've said it before. I'd love a short king, and no one is shorter than than that, Miss, that Miss Queen in that show. <laughs> she is so small. I love. Yeah. Them. Anyway, Gigi Daishi. If you watch Girls Planet, who are your top picks? Any favorites that didn't make Kepler? I did not watch. Adam did Kepler. not watch Girls Planet. I did not watch Kepler. I did not watch Girls Planet. Yes, I was the only one who did. I was a big Kim Soo Yeon fan. I loved her, and you know what? I was a Huning Bahi stan. I stay a Huning Bahi stan. <sighs> I love that girl. I love that entire dynasty. And yes, I was the one voting for her. So stay mad. Did we always like K-pop before we met Adam? No, no. Our K-pop journey started twenty. 20- 20 for me it was the blackpink documentary i just like to i just turned it on i was like sure why not and then i was like wow i'm obsessed with k-pop now adam it was the npr tiny desk concert of bts mm-hmm. that made him like a k-pop fan so. and i immediately bought the like deluxe album of b and then i also they were like selling the like life goes on single i would literally i was going through a very hard time because we long story short we worked at walt disney world and it was not great working at walt disney world during the pandemic and so i would get off work and i would come home and lay on the floor and listen to life goes on and literally weep how do i feel about debuting someone for their visuals i think it's great listen you're out of your mind if you think (laughs) i'm gonna say no my number one pick is kim jong i'm not saying that he's He's only visual but, that but is, I will say first and foremost, he is asset. visual. Very strong asset. And then he very also strong. is talented, which is like icing on the cake. However, I also like people that are just visual. Why else do I have nine people in a group? Do I need them all to be all-rounders? No. I need them to be balanced is what I need. I think you have to have, first and foremost, you have to have singers. Yeah. I don't people think are, everybody has to be like a perfect singer. But, but they, like... Yeah. Imagine if DKZ didn't have Mingyu. Imagine yeah. if Seventeen didn't have DK Sun Kwan and the DK. vocal line. Period. Yeah, all of the vocal line, but specifically like those two. Like it would just be you'd have to write different types of music, and that's fine. But what is your favorite RuPaul's Drag Race season? <gasps> Regular season, season six is my favorite. That was <sighs> the first one I ever watched live, and to this day, I still think it is great casting. You have to watch it with Untucked. It's yes. one of the last ones where you have to watch it with Untucked. Yeah. I also think season eight is great. <gasps> season eight is yes. just very well cast with a lot of different people. Bob is my favorite winner of all time. Yeah, I love All Stars three. Benda La Christ. Benda La Cri- I was just thinking about today. I was just thinking about Benda honestly. La today. I, b- people died <laughs> when, when she I, wrote in Whiteout. I oh. it's you know you remember when you were where you were at nine eleven and then you remember could you imagine if Sung Han Bin was like I'm leaving the show that is literally what it would be like if Sung Han Bin was just like I'm done or I've like won too much or like yeah him him more I want Ihui Tech to do that to be like I realize that this is not fair <laughs> so I should and then I'm putting my name on a lipstick I loved All Star Six because it was truly like a redemption season watching Raja O'Hara like have an entirely new run watching Trinity Trinity K. Bonet who was like uh, because I love season six I loved watching her like just have a whole new career basically unfold so good also Uh, All Star 7 was I know it was edited to be perfect perfect, but it was it was was so much fun it was just like just show me the best that was not an unenjoyable moment that whole season I still sometimes think about when Jinx's ear fell her little pig ear fell off and that little that is so funny that is so funny and like I'm sorry I'll have to speak up I can't hear you (laughs) also like no snatch game will ever beat that sorry I mean Adam and I believe that like no other theater queen will win because in Rue's eyes Jinx is the perfect example of what 
a theater queen movie because which is RuPaul funny because she does not like a bfa musical theater yeah. girly she doesn't like the jans the rose she the likes Marshalls. the weird theater kids she likes she likes the Dalas and the shakes the yeah love simone we love simone i love simone <laughs> i think simone has had my favorite runways like of all time honestly i love trinity to tuck she is like we where it's it like it all comes back baby mm, they're so talented that it's like, well, you can't argue how talented they are. Yeah. And then it makes you like them. Next up, we're going to do another video where we answer your questions about Boys Planet specifically. So stay tuned. Discovering Voices, Reality Worlds, The Ampliverse. 